Hi everyone, welcome to Monica's Singapore Kitchen. In this video, I'll be cooking Malaysian curry chicken. This curry is slightly different from my previous video on curry kapitan. The spice paste for Malaysian curry chicken is made from a combination of fresh and dried spices, but the curry kapitan's base is made from only fresh spices. Potatoes and coconut milk are added to create a rich, savory, creamy and super delicious dish. Come along with me to see how this dish is prepared. So we are going to blend these dry as well as uh, fresh spices. We have ginger, lemongrass, turmeric, garlic, cashew nuts, or you can also use candle nuts, Bombay onions, which I've cut into smaller pieces, shrimp paste, curry powder, chili powder. Add a bit of water to smoothen the blending process. So the idea is to blend it until it forms a very fine paste. Stir it periodically to ensure that every bit of the spice will get blended. So this is the consistency that we are trying to achieve. It is thick, creamy, fine and smooth. Heat up half cup of oil in a wok. When the oil is hot, pour in the spice paste. We are going to stir fry this spice paste for 10 minutes over medium heat. Also add in the four bodies which comprises of uh, cinnamon sticks, star anise, cloves and cardamom pots. We also add in curry leaves. They are very fresh. I just plucked it from the back of my garden. So just put the leaves in and discard the stalks. Gently stir fry over medium heat for 10 minutes. So it needs constant stirring and this is the only part that takes a little bit more time. Of course preparing the spice spices also takes a bit of time. 5 minutes later it looks a little bit drier. 10 minutes later it is very fragrant, the colour has darkened and it is time for us to add the other ingredients. So here we are, our chicken. I used 2 kg of chicken because I'm going to make 8 servings. I bought it from the supermarket. It is all cut very beautifully like that and it comes in 1 kg packed. So continue to stir it so that all the spices are mixed very nicely with the chicken pieces. Scrape the bottom to ensure that the spices do not burn. Add in potatoes, which I have quartered. Each potato cut into four pieces. Also add in one litre of water, which I have added to rinse my blender, which is filled with the leftover paste. Give it a good stir. Cover and cook for 25 minutes over medium heat. So after 25 minutes, there you go. Such a delicious wok of Malaysian curry chicken. Time to add in the coconut milk. We add in the coconut milk at the end of the cooking process because we do not want the milk to curdle. Coconut milk tend to curdle when heated over high heat for a prolonged period of time. So what we do is after adding, we stir it continuously to prevent it from boiling vigorously. The idea is for us to uh, achieve a smooth and homogeneous sauce. So you realize that we have not add, add, added any more seasoning as of now. So it's time to add in the salt. 
2 teaspoons of salt and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Continue to stir it for a minute or two and we are almost done. You can see that it's boiling very gently. Time to put in some fresh curry leaves as toppings. So we're going to transfer this into a serving bowl. Here we go. So there is a serving bowl. This is a serving bowl of uh, curry. So it is best served with rice, noodles, prata, bread or any accompaniment that your heart so desires. I really enjoyed preparing and eating this curry and this is the first curry I would cook whenever I have a craving for a bowl of Malaysian comfort. Till we meet again in the next video, have a nice day and happy cooking!